Hello everyone! It's Brie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a painting. Well, I'm not going to do a full painting because I already have something that I painted way back in 2020 I think or 2019. I am not sure now. But I'll let you know once I take it down from the wall and what I'll do today is I'm going to touch up some part of my painting and I will show you so I have here my painting and I'm going to touch up the fireflies so these are the fireflies they're supposed to be glow in the dark but since they're not glowing in the dark I need to touch them up maybe because I just put one coat of that so yeah we'll touch up these fireflies so at least they, they will glow in the dark and I hope it will be effective and I will be using this this is what I used on that one so I will be using this one and let's get started this uh, kit here is where my acrylic paint pots are and I have some more acrylic paints somewhere in the cupboard but I'll just want to take the brush that I am going to use from here I'm going to use the very thin one this one this is number one This is number one and I'm going to this one okay let's take the the paint first out of the frame keep it safe there you go taking that and this is the painting this is I, I painted this in 2020 I have it here I signed it at the back I have a sign in front and I have a sign at the back so here's the full date of when this was made so I painted it on June 7 2020 at 3 32 p.m. so it, this is my interpretation of a uh, willow tree yep. so, take up. I will start on this one now let's put the scissor away so guys I found my smaller so guys I found my smaller brush this one is a smaller the the one with the dark handle so i might just use the smaller one so let's see so i already did it there and let's start on this one So I only have a few paintings. Now I only have two paintings that I have I had framed. <coughs> and the other one is a bouquet of leaves. I use the leaves leaf pattern. Anyway, I used the green one because my the undertone is green, so it's just right to use the green one, I think. I'm not a professional painter, but it's one of my hobbies. So 
So I'm finished touching it up. And hopefully it will work this time because it's meant to be glowing at night time. Yeah, so we'll just leave it to dry and wait and we'll see in a bit if if it works once it's dry. Wait, I need to the moon the moon has the moon is meant to be glowing as well. Let me just get my my aqua. So for the moon I'm going to use the blue the blue one Now I'm finished touching the fireflies and the moon. Let's wait for it to dry and then we'll come back and see if it actually works or if it needs another coat of this glow in the dark paint. So yeah. So while waiting for the touch up paint to dry, I'm going to show you my other painting that I did. I only have I only have two paintings that I did and the other one is hanging up on the wall. So I'll show you that. It's this one here. So I used leaves to create this bouquet of leaves here. I'm back and the painting is dry now. It's here. So we will, I will put it back in the frame and we'll test it out if the glow in the dark will glow. So we'll put it back. So there it is. It's back in the frame. And we're going to hang it up. <laughs> so there you go thank you for watching and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and turn your notification bells on for more upcoming videos bye